As a videographer, I have spent countless hours and dollars on camera gear, convinced that it would magically transform my videos into masterpieces. But once I started paying closer attention to lightning, I realized where the real magic happens. If we haven't met yet, my name is Meiko San. In this video, I'll share valuable lighting tips I wish I knew sooner so you can elevate your videos. While camera gear can certainly enhance your videos, it's often the quality of your lightning that makes the biggest difference. It is the foundation of a great video. It sets the mood, defines the subject, and draws the viewer in. Let's take a closer look at few of the lightning principles I have learned along the way. Three-point lightning. Now, this is classic. Actually, this is a simple lightning technique to begin with and see massive difference in your results. This classic setup involves one key light, one fill light, and one backlight. The key light illuminates your subject's main features. The fill light softens shadows, and the backlight uh, creates separation between the subject and the background. By placing a couple of lights strategically, you can already create scenes that would look more pleasing for the eye and wouldn't be just flat. Natural light. If you are on a budget, natural light is your best friend. There is a lot to unfold here, but to keep it brief, here are three tips for you. 1. Choose the right time of the day when you capture the video. Morning and evening light are uh, gently softer and warmer uh, than midday light. Try to shoot during these uh, times for more flattering and cinematic look. 2. Pay attention to the angle of the light. Side light can uh, create depth and uh, shadows, while front light may reduce shadows but can make the image look flat. 3. If the sunlight is too harsh, consider using uh, diffusers to soften and scatter the light or you can use a reflector to bounce the light back on your subject, reducing harsh shadows. They come in various sizes and materials. I actually have a video uh, that covers all about 5-in-1 reflectors, so you can watch that or take a look in the description. If you're interested in hearing more about natural light and lightning tips in general, then let me know in the comments. Experiment with different lightning ratios to achieve different moods. It is important to define the mood you want to create in your video. A high key ratio when the overall scene is brighter creates a light and airy feel, while a low key ratio when the overall scene is darker usually evokes drama and mystery. Also, a darker scene may be associated with an evening or a weekend gathering with friends. There are no strict rules here. I would like to invite you to experiment, have fun and see what works best for you and your style. And also to hit that like button if you find this video helpful. A skilled videographer can create cinematic magic with even the most basic lighting setups, while an expensive camera in the hands of an untrained user might produce average results. But don't get discouraged if you don't have access to fancy lighting equipment. Start with what you have, natural light and desk lamps, because even flashlights can work wonders. Experiment with the principles of three-point lightning, practice using diffusers and try different uh, lighting setups. If you're looking for lighting setup ideas, then watch this video next where I break down the lighting setup uh, that we used for commercial purposes. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Ciao.